What's up guys, it's Team Uwe Mitch with a deck profile on Gear Chronicle for Post Set Fighters Collection. Because somebody wants to show it, yes, it's Rachel Alicar from Blast Blue. Yep, and then not only that, the next time you'll see this deck will be in Post G4. Yeah, don't get anything for G3, sad. But I'm looking forward to everything we get for G4. Yeah. Well, for one of us, we're still going with the great. We're still going with the great three searcher. He's the better. In my particular, in my particular locals, we go. I we kill four runners. So, as much as I love Gunner Gear's art, he's gonna die before I even get a chance to use him, unfortunately. That, he saves you from being great stuck, and you also can use him for so fast water. Yeah. Great three wise. Spear running with the four Chrono Jets. Yes, I upgraded to two signs. I tried yes. to get two signs for the G4 deck profile, sure. I promise on that. Excellent. Yes. Don't be around, monkey. Don't, don't do that. Hey, get hey, out of here, monster. I, for me, I have to. Nah, it's Chrono Jet. Anyways, G rate 2 skill, we attack, 5k power, you take my great one to hire. It's on stride skill, you stride over and kind of blast one. Spin a, spin a unit because why not? This, you can have a lot more fun playing with a few new toys that Gear Chronicle got as a result of G of Fire Smash coming out. I went down to two Colossus mainly because after some hard persuasion from my teammates, they figured I should go back up to playing two of the Legion. Like, so yeah, did. he's not that great, but at the same time, he puts triggers back. He can put triggers back and spin, late, and spin late and spin late game. The reason I don't like Nixie number is for a particular, particular matter of he relies, he relies on you spinning a unit. And the problem is, the only time you're spending units when you're not on Chrono Jet or even or even in your strides usually comes through and usually have to come through Amber. And it's just like with a deck that you don't want to have too much dependency on its entire cards, I would rather just have at least his free spin. And I'd rather at least have his free spin and put triggers back rather than Nixon number going if I spin a unit as my boss as my boss grade three. Having to have having to have a rear guard do something else. His mate's not bad, but the mate has to be a legion. So I'm losing out on my stride plays just for this legion play to go through. Makes sense. Great two. We're still at we're still at four. Steam Knight pulls pulls the ear, or as it's not calling the fake ass silent Tom. <laughs> I still this card right he got stupider. Yeah. We're still at the four glimmer breath. You have a Chrono Jet Heart when you ride him. Kind of blast on soul blast on spinning unit because I never get attacked for the turn. Not bad. Keep this card in mind. I'm gonna keep this card in mind with one of the new toys we get in Jeep that we got for Fighters Collection. And I actually went down to two Steam Fighter Ambers. Mainly because I started noticing when I'm swinging when I, at times I'm swinging with my grade two rear guards, I either don't have a I either don't have a booster or I have to drop a guard, I have to drop shield just to make my booster. So I decided just to go down with two for the time being, just to test them out for the time being. All right. After some games I've done today, it came in hit it came in it came in handy when I needed it, but it wasn't overall it wasn't overall necessity for me to spin the unit. And I'm actually starting taking the steam mini inches. First skill, counter blast one. When an opponent is you spin, you spin when your opponent's rear guard with one of your card effects, counter blast one. They can't guard her with grade zero higher, and she has resist. So she comes in handy on a she comes in handy on a glimmer breath play in particular, or even if you if you have her on your rear guard, or you have a you have a chrono jet strike play. Great one wide, it basically stays the same as before. For the perfect guards, when you have perfect guard copy in the grade, you drop the zone, you use them for the damage. Four stride enablers because it's a stride, it's a stride focused deck, you need to stride as often as possible. Alright. <laughs> and of course, three miss guys. I hate that card. He makes numbers. I love this card. I have to go. This. <laughs> He's a Bruno! This is a Bruno. He just got really retarded. This is really stupid for no for a new card. Like a lot of cards in this deck got better because of one card in particular, and I'll show it soon. And of course, the three of the G Break One uplifts. Trigger wise, Misty Art is still the same as well. Before, look about Draco Kids, put them into the soul, give it you, give it you the three K. Margo clones. Four hot thump workers. I'll create the two SPs. Uh, I'm gonna try getting the four as well with this too. I, I want to max rate this whole deck because I love this deck. <laughs> I, so, I love I love this deck to death. But yeah, you have a corner, you have a corner jet, great three or higher, put it to the soul, draw a card, banger against 5k power. Alright. And of course, for the other for the other for the other crits, because people have been asking me why don't I play the stand triggers? 
in a control deck like this, the stand triggers just don't cut it. Yeah. And it's just like, you have to, you have to just do stand triggers, just do things, like flip a, flip a copy of my junior defense face down, or even giving you the 10k power. But I don't feel like I need that in the deck, mainly because of between Miss Geyser or even my guard restricted grade twos, it's just like, it's already enough. And then of course, four heals. Now, for the part that gets really fun, we tried that. Of course, your main boss still stays at four with the Raptor Front Dragon. SP. Up, SP upgrade to him as well. Yes, like I said, I'm going ball. I'm going all in with this deck because I, I just love it that much. Yeah. Ten about meters. And of course, I'm down to one lock. I'm down to one lost face for the simple fact that you I get other, you have new toys. That and I don't want to cut him. Worst right. scenario, even if I, if I spend one unit, then letting him hit, then letting him hit, then let him mi let them still minus one unit. So even then, it's still spending a unit for free, and I'm still getting a unit off their field to make them call another unit. All right. And of course, still the one fate, still the one fate rider because it's a good one off. It's a good one off either early mid, early early game or even late game. Early game, if you want to put a trigger gap, trigger back, or late game if you want to pump, if you want to have more powerhouse comps. Yeah, because after, after you're done using all your Ragnar clocks, like he just becomes retarded. He just becomes everything just gets big for no reason. And now we'll start with our new toys, starting with. And then I mentioned the dragon, Epoch Maker Dragon. When this unit attack hits the vanguard, you bind one of your rear guards. Then you, then you superior card, great thing from your deck. All right. that turn, put that great thing in the bottom of your deck, and the unit you bind, the unit you bind with its effect, you call it, you call it to rear guard. One of the best play, one of the best things about this card is its interaction with Glimmer Breath. You call Glimmer Breath, you just skill, kind of like a soul fast one, spin the unit for the turn, you get 11 k. Soon as Demo Breath, unboost it or boost it in a Vanguard or Rear Guard. Alright. Epoch Maker goes off, do you, do, you, do your drive checks, do it to your Rear Guards or your booster for e for Glimmer Breath. Epoch still goes off, do Superior Call of Grade 3. Just swim with, this full, swim with that full power column. Yep. End of the turn, this goes to the bottom, Glimmer Breath gets called. This means if you have chrono, if you had a chrono jet heart you showed over, Glimmer Breath skill now goes off again. Wow. So basically, basically, basically meaning Glimmer Breath, this one Glimmer Breath lets you spawn two units for this turn. Essentially meaning you can sp you're able to snipe our rear guards just for doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. For all in one unit. And now, for my one of my new favorite cards is the Dimensional Beast of People Pegasus. Nay, nay, motherfucker. Nay, nay. nay. That's my strive quote for him. When you when you stride over this unit and you have a chrono you have a chrono jet heart, you spin your attack, you spin your opponent, you spin your opponent. <laughs> 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 Anyways, for right. people, uh, people Pegasus, you have a chrono jet heart when you strike this unit. Oh God, he's dead. <laughs> the body you have a chrono jet. Heart. You murdered me. Thanks, you only crap. <laughs> <laughs> you have a chrono jet heart, you shot over this unit. You spin your opponent's entire field. Oh, wow. And for each unit they spun, they top call off their deck even to the number of cards you spun with that. So, in a particular case such as this, say they have four units on, say they have four units on the board, you spin him. He goes up by 20k power by that alone. Oh, no. But also, a thing to keep in mind is, since you're going to be trying to have a chrono jet to get to him, if you stride over, you stride over chrono so that's jet. That's five and cards that were. Oh no! Now, Why? But the two, but the two fun ways you can have with that. The chrono jet stage, you can always use chrono jet skill first, then spin a Pegasus. Or a Pegasus stage, you spin a Pegasus, then spin a rear guard off that they may have gotten top call on a Pegasus effect. Since they're both on, since they're both on stride skills, you choose the order they resolve in. I oh. had him up. I had him boosting for forty-one earlier. Yep, it was, was it was fun. Why? It was no. It was fun. I had a forty. I had forty-one K cup boosting for no reason. Who do you think you are? Fucking. Who do you think you are, Spike Bros? You're not Spike Bros. Get out of here. Hey, but I can hit. I cannot swim with this card. You're not Death Army. You're not freaking. You're a I'm Kaiser Kier Chronicle. I wish you. Not a Rainbow Monkey. I don't want to be a rainbow monkey. Why should people have noticed I'm no longer playing Chronos Command? He does his skill, he does his he does Chronos Command's job, which is field disruption, a lot better. Not kind of us. For free, and the fact that if people see Chronos Command, they're gonna guard him either way. Mainly because you're only trying to Chronos Command if they have a field that they don't want to get rid of. Yeah. But at least with Pegasus, 
Yes, with your scenario, they can call something back as they can still call something back worse. With Stitch and Scarlet over Chrono Jet, you can still work have your ways around that. While also making your rear guard such as Not only that, he kinda annoys your opponent because like imagine if they call triggers. Oh god. They're calling triggers. Like the only like the only thing that kinda like can like surprise you would be gold yeah. power pound. Gold power. Gold power is an even better more than since they're bumping up the Vanguard powers anyway. It's probably the only two decks where you can kinda go. This will go wrong. Well, you're not gonna see golds for a while until G3, and like you might see one or two Ezo players at your locals, and then when it comes to metal boards, really it's usually like one or two people at your local that's been playing yeah. the deck for a while. But other than that, you won't see that that often. Like you're more likely to see like but that in the matter of like he's really good. Yeah, I might end up like depending on my chance, I might end up bumping the two actually, really, because I just love this, this card. It's easy, easy one of the best strides for Gear Chronicle. Because there's no point in time where it's dead unless it's early game, and even if it's early game, you rather just go keep up naked and count more pressure attacks. All right, but it's the fact that he makes him so he makes this card hit ridiculous numbers for no reason, and just everything else in the deck in itself got better just from two cards alone. Like I've been playing it all day today, and it just feels a lot smoother in terms of your strategy. You feel more comfortable with the deck in tournament now? Yeah. All right. I might actually play this. I might actually play the deck when I get back from that and hit my trip next week. All right. No problem. All right. Thank you, Rucker. Thank you for keeping us posted. And all right, guys, that's gonna be our Gear Chronicle deck profile. Um, we'll be trying to post the deck profiles from Fire Collection real soon. It's gonna be a while just because some things happen that are local. So we'll keep you guys posted. But we do have the Legend deck, so we'll we'll keep you posted. All right, guys. Team Movements, sign off. Go Gears.